like the perfect TCM festival for you. It Fam is perfect. Family, the ties that bind. That's right. It is. He's got his footprints over here, Harold, and he's got his scar literally right oh, there. Right over at El Capitan. At the El Capitan, which was the uh, Shriners Omalika Temple. How exciting is it? How much does it mean to you? To know that today's generation, another generation, is falling in love with Oh, I think it's great. I can't, I can't tell you. It's my uh, wishes, my dream, my ambitions to keep his legacy and his films and give it to a new generation so they can enjoy it. Because it's great humor and it's very applicable to the time now. You know, you could put Harold here on the red carpet and he was wearing a suit. He was wearing, you know, hormone glasses. I bet we could walk down this red carpet and find three pair of hormone glasses oh, right I now. I bet we could. Yeah, so uh, he's very, you know, very 20, you know, 21st century right in the moment. And I don't think really good humor and good laughs and to have a great time to be entertained in a theater for, you know, an hour and a half, uh, and you forget about what you really, your life is about, that's a wonderful way to, a great experience. You know, that's one of the things growing up, my first experience was Harold Lloyd, the first and over Charlie Chaplin, my father loved Harold Lloyd, because he said there was a nuance and there was a timelessness to his comedy. Yep. That, that actually is, and I think it's, you know, some critics years ago said, oh no, you know, it's Charlie. You know, he has an attitude about him, or actually Buster, but you look at them now and it's not exactly like people that you see on the street. Harold was your street guy, he was your boy next door, he was the guy you wanted to have a romance with, he wanted to date the girl next door. It was all and it was very in modern real time, and that's what his comedy was about. And I think if you look at it, um, he was really the template. He was the father of romantic comedy. Very much so. Because he always got the girl. That's what Hux is all about. He got into troubles. He got into a big, you know, um, stew about things. He always got the girl in the end. And that's what it was. It was always about you know, um, saving her and love. That's it. So, so who do you work for? Who do you I, write for? I actually have my own syndicate, the uh -huh. YS Entertainment Network. I write for 149 print and online outlets in the U.S. and abroad. Wow. Very good. I love that. So, well, thank you. Hello. So you'll get the word out for me. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thanks. Because I do, because as a critic, I do, you know, I do press junkets all the time. I do new releases, upcoming releases, film independent. The independent films are some of my favorite because they're the ones that I see becoming the next classics. They're the ones that harken to what filmmaking is about, good story, good character. And so, and for me, this just melds it all. And when I can take classic films and introduce a younger audience to them. Oh, it's wonderful. This is so wonderful. There's really great artists. And people need to see these films as they are. You know, they have to. So if you had to pick one favorite of Harold's. Oh, you, everybody does this to me. Top five. I don't know. Top five. Um, Speedy, uh, Kid Brother, Movie Crazy, uh, well of course what I'm showing here, Why Wood, it's really cute, it's fresh, nobody's really seen it, so this is like the new baby that we're kind of like wrapping around in a new wrapping, and that's really great. Carl Davis has been an incredible score to it. Uh, this is the first time he's going to show it, so it's really amazing. It's a real treat. So, um, and I, I do like his talking films because he sounds like Dad to me, so I can hear his voice and his mannerisms, so it's like, oh my God, I remember he'd say things like that, you know? Or he, you know, have an expression or a gesture, and it was really the same thing. Um, and then, you know, I love Safety Last. But that's, and it's got my grandmother in it, so I love that. And he's got some great little shorts that he does with Baby Daniels. I mean, I'm not basically 80, uh, over 88 titles from one my list of features in my life. That's a lot. So, and I've done most of them. I've still got some more shorts to do for Terminator. Well, keep doing them, please. Thank you.
you. I will. I promise I will. I will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy this evening. I'll see you. I'm worried about I will be there. Okay.